Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Siren Friends Play Contradiction. This is a full motion video detective game where we are on a case. What's this case? I don't fucking have a clue. Let's watch the intro. Uber. My name is Jenks. Detective Inspector Frederick Jenks. And I've been assigned to a last minute investigation into the death of Kate Vine. A PhD student found drowned at midnight last Friday in a lake in the woods on the outskirts of the tiny village of Edenton. I have until first thing tomorrow morning to decide whether her death was a simple accident or whether this was murder. Kate Vine appeared to the world to be a bright, confident, fun-loving PhD student with everything to live for. However, a history of depression and alcoholism revealed in her medical records suggests that in reality, she had become adept at hiding behind a mask. A lab report indicating a high level of alcohol in her blood, along with the late hour of her death and a lack of witnesses, makes a strong case that this was suicide. But the verdict overlooked some curious details. Why was her driving license found on the opposite side of the lake in which she drowned? Also, there were traces of morphine in Kate's system. Where did she get it? Kate was known to be a free spirit with a nihilistic love of danger, which may, in part, have something to do with a business course called Atlas, which Kate had joined and which she had been attending on the night of her death. Based in a large, stately home on the outskirts of the village, the exclusive Atlas is run by father and son team, Paul and Ryan Rand. Both were interviewed following Kate's death, but neither claimed to have seen Kate after the meeting, and both were understandably eager to distance themselves and Atlas from the tragedy. This isn't the first time that Atlas has been investigated. Atlas and their questionable methods, which many have suggested border on mind control. Ryan is married to Rebecca, landlady of Edenton's village pub, the George and Dragon. As yet, she hasn't been interviewed, though it's likely Kate visited the pub on more than one occasion. One of Kate's friends was Emma Bowman, who lives at Eden Lodge on the road leading out of Edenton Village. Emma was also doing a PhD at the same university, but didn't attend Atlas. Interviewed after Kate's death, Emma seemed shocked and upset, insisting she hadn't seen Kate that night. However, it turned out her boyfriend had. Simon Thompson met Emma at university. After completing his degree around 18 months ago, he went to work at a shop in the neighbouring village. He started at the Atlas course a few months ago. Simon insisted that he didn't see Kate after the meeting, but the sergeant interviewing him noted he seemed oddly unmoved by her death, which makes him the first person I want to see tonight. It's time for some answers. So that's the story. We are Detective Frederick Jenks, and we must find out who killed this woman! Is there anything else we need to know? Kate Vine was a PhD student found drowned at midnight last Friday in a lake in the woods on the outskirts of a tiny village of Edenton. The lab report indicated a high level of alcohol in her blood at the time of death, along with traces of morphine. The alcohol is, con is consistent with her medical records, which reveal a history of depression and alcoholism. However, the origin of the morphine remains a mystery. And it's basically all the stuff we already know about this, but anyway, that's not important right now. Me and Emma are going to solve this case. Pro da -da -da. Probably really badly. Let's do probably. this. Welcome to Contradiction. Alright, finally, we can now play the game, because we have to, like, we go through that cutscene again, which was not necessary. Welcome to Edenton Village. Click the arrows to move Jenks around and find arrow, arrow, magnifying glasses. So, I know exactly what we need to do for this game, but... Okay, so... Should we go and see Simon first? Yes. Right now, let's go and see Simon. Simon! Simon, I'm here to beat you up! <laughs> Simon! <laughs> Oh, a bicycle! Someone rides a bike! Very trusting, leaving a bike unlocked. Looks like uh, homebrew equipment. Ooh, homebrew, eh? Ah, this might come in handy. Ooh, screwdriver! Ooh. Looks like, Ooh I'm, la. looks like I'm screwing your wife! <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Okay, so, as you can see on the side, we've got, like, stuff we can use to interrogate people with. We can use this, but we can't right now, because we need to get inside. Use the screwdriver on the bike. Excuse me, what are you doing? I'm fixing your bike. Don't mind me. But, but you're stabbing the tires. <laughs> I'm fixing- I'm fixing it. <laughs> right, no hang. one must write this ever again. Alright, let's go and knock for Simon. Simon! Simon! Come out, you're under arrest! Is it Simon? Uh, yeah. Detective Inspector Jenks, I'm investigating an incident in the village. Could I come in and ask you a few questions, please? Um... Could you please yeah. bend over? We need to give you your prostate examination to see if you're not lying. <laughs> I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> well, time for the police! <laughs> You can have to do it now. Uh, we can just go through okay, here this if you want. Yeah, uh, uh, not go in raw. <laughs> this is Inspector James Jenks. What's all this about? Thanks, Simon. There you was a dick. Death in the village, Kate Vine. <laughs> I believe you both knew her. Yeah. Do you need to speak to both of us? Uh, I'll, I'll just speak to Simon first, if that's okay. I don't do well with women, so um, just could you leave? <laughs> you, you know, I'm, I'm into the homosexuals. I'm into sticking my finger up their asses. Do you want anything? Water? No, 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 no. Give her a little wiggle about. <laughs> Gotta check the prostate and all that. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. Alright, so this is where the game starts getting interesting. So we have to ask these people questions. And we gotta find some contradictions, which is what the game is called. We gotta find the contradictions and figure out what the fuck is going on. In so, the so let's ask about Kate Vine. When was the last time you saw Kate Vine? Um... So, last Friday's meeting, I think. Did you see her after the meeting? No. How long have you known Kate? That would be when we started Atlas. Three months ago. Did you socialise outside Atlas? No. How would you describe her? What sort of person was she? Well, she's talented. Uh, she was full of life, you know? Sharp, quite sharp. Would you say she had any emotional problems? She, her mood, her mood could change. And, well, there was the drinking problem. When did you become aware of that? Well, she would come drunk to meetings sometimes. Oh, great, an alcoholic. And she would reek of the stuff. I mean, everyone knew, but nobody really said anything. So, tell me a bit about Atlas. Oh, it was just a business management training program for postgrads. And you started this after you left college? Uh, yeah. And it's on every Friday? Yeah, well, my group isn't doing it this Friday, but uh, one of the groups is. Okay, thanks. Thank you very much, Simon. But that's... That's something I don't get. I thought... I thought he, I thought he like, started, um... I thought he, I thought he was at Atlas, like, 18 months ago. Well, I guess I could be wrong. That's... Hmm. Let's ask about this license. Have you seen this before? Did you know whether Kate had lost this or not? No. No, I don't think so. I've never seen it before. You've never seen a driver's license before? Hmm. Shake my head. Very suspicious. What about this unlocked bicycle? Which was the bike outside? Oh, that's my cousin's. He lent me it. Uh, I need to buy a new lock for it, though. So it's your bike at the moment? Yeah, yeah. And there's no bus service to speak of around here, so it's really the only way to get around. Well, I guess. Well, you want to think of it like that. What about this... Well, we can't ask about that. <laughs> what about the bottles? It's just a sexy screwdriver. There's a lot of bottles outside. Are they yours? Yeah, I'm at homeroom. For yourself? Well, no, I give it out to my friends and stuff. I tried selling it at first, but I didn't have any takers. Except for James over at Farnhouse. I, I used to trade it to him for, for herbs and stuff. Herbs? James a lot. No, not really. Don't see him a lot, eh? I heard a ding. Why is the license, like, got a green box? I don't know, I think it might be- I don't know, it's weird. Doesn't see James very often, tried selling it, but- uh, Could this be a contradiction? Nope, not a contradiction. Alright, K comes to the Okay, didn't socialize with K, but only known K for three months. Could this not be it? Nope, definitely not. So K the last man, K often drinks, right. Um I don't think there's anything we can really bring up to him right now, so we'll go and visit Emma. Thank you. Probably be back later. Don't worry, it's only a few questions. Yeah. Y yeah. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was last Thursday in the college library. Um, I saw her and we chatted for a bit. She seemed her usual self. What was her usual self? Oh, just Kate being Kate. You know, a bit wild. Wild? In what way wild? Oh, she just used to question everything, you know. I have arguments with the lecturers, things like that. What else? Kate had a drink problem. Oh, really? How uh, noticeable was that? Well, she stood around the well, college naked. First, but as the year went on, she'd be drunk in the afternoon. But I think she cut down, you know, towards the end of college and when she started her PhD. Interesting. Well, that contradicts what he said, because he said she'd come in drunk, but apparently she's laying off it, so... Hmm. Oh. We can't use Boy. that. We can't. We can only contradict people. We can only contradict what they're saying, though. We can't contradict whatever people are yeah, saying. Yeah, so you collect evidence from both of them, and then co they contradict each other. No, 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 no. What What happens is though, like you collect bits and pieces of evidence that they've said, and it only sticks oh, with what? them. It only sticks with them. So you got to try to contradict them, and not. The <laughs> Have you seen this? Did you know whether Kate had lost this or not? Um, I don't know, but I I don't think so. Okay. Fair enough. Good point. Okay, she has... Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like all of us is just, yeah. Yeah. Who's is the bike outside? Oh, it's Simon's cousins. He uses it to get to work. Hmm. Dev hmm, definitely know, checks he's out. He's not lying about his, he, about his cousin. Definitely good. Definitely not lying about mm -hmm. that. What about the bottles? What's the stack of bottles outside? Oh, that's all Simon's stuff. You better ask him. I I don't know. You don't know? Don't you know he I makes homebrew? Have you ever oh, tried dear. Simon's homebrew? See, no. I don't like beer. I only drink wine. I can't stand spirits either. Doesn't like beer. I got doesn't like beer, but doesn't. Okay, no, probably not that one. Okay, only drinks wine, but bottles. How do you not know what your husband likes? How oh dare. Okay, go uh, back. That's all for the moment. Thank you. Okay, let's quickly just go back over Simon real quick. Okay, hang so on. So long as a contradiction if you can't leave. No, you can leave. Alright, oh, okay. I was like, are you stuck there until you find something? Last Friday, um, so I can repeat the yeah, I can repeat repeat if I wanted to, but let's see. at the meeting last Friday. No one came for three months, didn't socialize. Um, I thought I thought this would be something, but then again, she pop comes to the meeting and all that doesn't that, that really doesn't make sense. Didn't socialize with Kate very often. I, I think we're good for be the moment. Be back later on if that's okay. So we'll just go look around for a bit. We'll come back. The days can progress until we've got like all the contradictions. Emma, Simon always answers the front door. Okay, so yeah, so so the only way the game, the only way we, we can progress is by making sure we get all the stuff. So we have to mm -hmm. like, so we got to keep an eye out for stuff. So let's check this way. Nope, nothing by this junction. All oh, it is just a pond. All right, let's head up here. Head towards the woods. Oh look, the jetty. Let's go and check over there. What's over here? Oh, what's this? Looks like a piece of jewelry there, stuck between the boards. Well and truly wedged in. Screwdriver. Screwdriver, good idea. Good thinking, partner. <laughs> there we go. Hmm, a bird. Interesting. I thought forensics had checked the whole area. Obviously not very well. Useless bastards. Shake my head. Hey, look, there's a Stop couple. Hey, look, there's a couple over there. Oh, they're actually moving. Ooh. Oh, spooky. <laughs> I thought it was all just images. Wow, that's that is creepy. All right, so we got some more. We got we got some more evidence. Let's head towards the woods. What's over here in the clearing? Anyone over here? Anyone committing drugs? Anyone smoking some, uh, M Mary Jane? <laughs> some Mary Jane? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Emma! <laughs> oh god, it's really awkward that, because you're both Emma. Oh no, it's me. God, um, god damn it, Emma, stop taking all the drugs. Stop taking yeah. all the- Yeah. <laughs> god damn it, stop taking the Mary Jane. Yeah. 
Oh god. Oh, right, let's go. She's like, she, she says, all she says is yeah, but she still takes it. She's like, yeah, it's doing it, dude. It's nice to randomly find a key on the floor. A key? How convenient. Wait, there's no effect. It's like, it's like it was purposely placed there. Mm. For the. Improve your life. Wow. Interesting. Isn't that interesting. Interesting indeed. I didn't know. I didn't know there was a poster for life. Oh boy, that's that's a deep poster. All right, let's go on. Let's go. Let's go into the pub. Hello, hello. I'm breaking in. I'm knocking on the pub. I like how I had to. I like how I'm Is just. Is there is the pub? Can't you just go in? Yeah, that's why I don't get either. Why the fuck am I not going in? Well, I guess I can't go in yet. Okay, so let's go over here. Let's go to the Brandon house. Hello? Anyone here? I'm breaking in! It's almost, it's almost evening in the fucking game already? Jesus Christ. Well, yeah, it says it says at the top, it says it's 5 p.m. Oh, uh, oh boy. Like it says there, right there. It's the 5 p.m. Even has a fucking. Holy oh, shit. <laughs> I can call the chief if I wanted to, but I'm not gonna call the chief. It's too early. We can't call the chief. It's not a good idea. Shake my head. He's probably eating dinner. Shake my head. Don't call right now, Jenkins. I'm busy. I'm busy right now. Are you, are you, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. With the wife. <laughs> God damn it, Jenkins. I'm trying to have sex right now. <laughs> More questions, if you don't mind. <laughs> All right. Don't ask about the key. But about the broken pendant. The broken pendant has been It does remind me of something. I don't know. I've seen it somewhere, but. I'm... No, I don't know. Hmm. Boy. Yeah. Well, you don't recognize it, huh? Well, okay, I'm gonna ask, okay, ask that's Emma it then. For now. Thank you. If you don't know, then I'll ask a woman about jewelry then. <laughs> She's gonna know everything. She's a woman. This. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like, uh. That's my old necklace. I gave this to Kate. So Kate might have been wearing it last Friday. Ooh. Yeah, perhaps, but I can't see why. She was always buying new things, you know, lots of jewellery, stuff like that. Interesting. It's meant to be a bird in cage, but the cage's fallen off. Oh, I'll show you. Where did you buy it? I didn't. Some wanted present. Secret in Oh, so someone's a fan of <laughs> Doctor Who. Secret. I see. That's how it should have looked. It's called a freedom necklace. Do you mind if I keep this? No, not at all. Oh, a freedom necklace, huh? So the necklace oh did belong to Kate. Interesting. I'm starting to wish I'd brought a spare evidence bag. Hmm. Freedom. Okay, let's go and ask Simon about Thank this. Thank you. Probably be back later. Simon! What do you know about a freedom necklace? You know what this is? Yeah. Yeah, I think Emma had one like it. Actually, you know what? Kate had one. I remember because I asked her about it one night when we were all out drinking. In college. I was probably huh. pretty drunk. That's what college is all about. Okay, hang on. Kate wore one at college. Doesn't... Wait, I can't use that? You should ask about the freedom pendant rather than... Yeah, because, like, cause there's no point asking about the charm if you have stuff with the, ne with the necklace. What? I, w I was gonna say, but he doesn't know what it is, though. The fuck? Wore one at college... Uh, it's weird how there's like green are in one like to like two of the boxes, like in, the, in that one too. It's kind of odd. Yeah, weird. Thank you. Probably like, be back game later. Explain what those mean. <laughs> Thanks, game. <laughs> well, we helpful there. Well, we got a little bit of exploring to do, so let's look around. We can just go around the places where that's where the body was found. Let's try to see if we can get to the pub. Can I come in Ooh. now? No, yeah, fuck off. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so... Go over here. I can't seem to go over that much. There must be something I have to con had to contradict something. Okay, go back to go back by Atlas again. Okay, There's can't... something we're missing. We're missing something here. We have to find it. Okay, check the clearing again. Nothing by the mm -hmm. clearing. Okay, nothing there. Head towards the junction. There's nothing by the jetty because we've already checked that way. Alright, what over here? Nope, nothing over here. Okay, so there has to be something we need to do to talk with Emma and Simon. 
Because otherwise we can't move on, we'll be here forever. <laughs> hey, no joke, and I'm not gonna cheat. Wait, you keep locking the door, but can you just like... knock at the window for Emma? Yeah, but if I want to, if I want to do that though, but there must be something about Simon I don't get. Doesn't know about the license. Bye. Try the. Did you try the necklace with those two statements? Mm. Did you? Try... Kate wore this, and the driver's license doesn't know anything about the license. Nope. All right, hang on. Saw Kate Friday. Wait, hold on. Meeting. Wouldn't this not be it? Okay, hang on. That uh, and that doesn't doesn't socialize. Doesn't know anything about the license. Well, then again, uh, no. But no. then, like, then again, doesn't, mm. doesn't that doesn't mean like she would actually know exactly. Says doesn't see James very often. Makes his own homebrew. Broken uh, pendant. Uh, Don't need to know anything about the key. Okay. Think Emma had a necklace, similar necklace. K wore the necklace at college. The tools, maybe. Constrict? No. No. Hang on, let's go and visit That's that. all for the moment, thank you. Okay, hang on. Broken so pendant. Maybe some cheap constricts for her. So no. fucking confused. Yeah, I'm kind of confused myself. I want a gift. Go to Freedom Necklace. Necklace is Emma's, but she gave it to Kate. No. Mm. Okay, what about this? Saw Kate at the library, pity yourself, was an argument at college, Kate had a drinking problem, didn't see Kate very often. Oh, I think the red ones mean there's no use for them anymore, like you can't use them. I don't Green think... might mean they're vital? No, I don't think they... so. I don't know what this coding means, but I know what the red means you can't ask about. <laughs> God damn, we have to like let me go through every single one of them. Do we find something? We'll be here all day. Right. Okay, only no care for free months. I feel like it's something to do with the drunk one. Because... Oh, got it! Ah. Got it! Oh. So how did you know Kate was wearing a freedom necklace 18 months ago? At college. There it is. Well, I, I knew Kate at college, but I, I didn't get to know her till, till we started Atlas. Right. So you didn't socialise with her at college? No. And you didn't socialise with her outside of Atlas? Uh, no. You didn't see her outside Atlas at all? Um... Come on, Simon. No. Tell us the truth. <laughs> Not at all. Yeah! Oh, boy. So Simon did know Kate at college, but why would he lie about that? Maybe he knows Kate better than he's willing to admit. Six o'clock. I wonder if Rebecca's working in the pub tonight. <laughs>